بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر اور ٹو ٹی ویڈ سامنگ ویل ڈی ٹاپک ویز بیسیکلی ایگزیپلز آف پاور سیگنلز بات وی ہیف سم پروپرٹیز ویچ آئی وانٹی ٹو ڈسکس بیفور گیٹنگ انٹو دی نمیریکل پروپرٹیز سو لیٹس سی آئی گیٹ دی ہیڈنگ پروپرٹیز پروپرٹیز ویل سو دیز آئی سم بیسی پروپرٹیز ایک بیو آلڈی seen today we see the effect of them on the power of a signal so well time scaling has no effect on the power of the signal no effect in fact no time transformation has effect which means time shifting also has no effect and time reversal also has no effect similarly amplitude reversal has no effect on the power of the signal amplitude scaling has an effect which means that if x of t is the original signal and its power is p now if you scale the function let's say k times x of t so now the power of this signal would be the absolute of k squared times the original power p this is the only thing that is important similarly the amplitude shifting it has effect it has effect on the power of signal but we cannot formulate it as we did in the uh, energy signal energy of a signal we, we saw that the amplitude shifting was having an effect but we cannot conclude it into a particular formula so that is the case over here also time scaling time shifting time reversal no effect amplitude reversal no effect amplitude scaling has this effect and amplitude scaling has an effect but Sorry, amplitude scaling this effect, amplitude shifting has an effect, but we cannot uh, uh, generalize it. Similarly, another important property is that all periodic signals are power signals. All periodic signals are power signals. So, this is an important property. If you have a periodic signal, it is going to be periodic. Well, the wise waves are may or may not be true, okay? So, wise waves, I will say it's not true, okay? Wise waves are is not equal to true. Which means that if we have a power signal, so it is not necessary that it is periodic, okay? But if you have a periodic signal, it is must that it is a power signal. Okay, now another thing is that the power of a signal is equal to the RMS value squared. Now the RMS you know is the root mean squared value. Similarly you can say that the RMS value of a function is the square root of the power of that function. Is that okay? Now uh, another simple property is, now, and we know that uh, the power signal, power we find out by calculating through the absolute of the function. As you know that the formula is that P is equal to 1 over T times the integration from negative T by 2 to positive T by 2 and what is the case? The absolute of X of T whole squared with respect to T. So this have a look. Without this 1 over T, this is the energy of the signal. So and we know that power is energy by time. So this formula is absolutely correct. So we have to deal with the modulus of the function and that is square. So square is another mathematical operation, but first you have to take its modulus. So which means that if you have two different functions or three or more, any, but basically if you have two different functions and their modulus waveform is the same. So absolutely the, the, absolutely the square of the uh, modulus would also be the same. So which means that their energy and power would be the same. So I could write it as that everything depends on the modulus. So, uh, two or more signals with different waveforms, right? Or, or, or I can write two or more different signals. Two or more different signals with the same 
modulus waveform have what? Have the same energy and power. Is that fine? Okay. So let's say I show you how it is. So let's say I have this function. This is t. Let's say this is any function x of t. And this is this sort of a waveform. And it's repeating in such a way. Fine. So, so now if you find out the modulus, the modulus of x of t, so how would it be? This is time axis. So have a look, the positive is the positive. Now this sort of waveform in the positive is like uh, it would be wait, not like this, like this, and then it would be like this. Fine, and similarly, this. So, so this is let's say one function and its modulus waveform. Similarly, if I have the sawtooth waveform, which we have already have seen, so so let's say I represent it with S of t is the sawtooth waveform. So how is it? It's like this. Isn't it so? It is. Now if you go for the absolute of the sort of waveform, so let's say I draw it over here, the S of T is absolute. Okay. This is T. So have a look. So this and this would cancel out, then you have it like this, and you have this over here. So wait, I, I will draw it like this. Isn't it so? And then you have this one, and then you have this one. And similarly, it would repeat in such a way. And so the modulus waveform of x of t is the same as that of this function s of t. So, which means that the energy of x is equal to the energy of s. Similarly, the power of x is equal to the power of s. Is that okay? Now, I have uh, two more properties. So, I say do it in the next video, okay? The first is that dc value is a power signal. dc value is a power signal. And similarly, the unit step signal, unit step signal is a power signal. So that's about this video, okay? These are just some important properties. We see how the DC value is a power signal. We see how the unit step signal is a power signal in the very next video, okay? So till then, take care of yourself and everyone around you. Goodbye.